So, Fruits Basket, I got to take you back to when I ran the RIT Anime Club from around 2001 to around 2005. Because when we were at the RIT Anime Club, an anime came out that was an adaptation of a manga, and that anime was called Fruits Basket. So I knew Fruits Basket at the time was A, a shoujo manga. Yep. Uh, B was ridiculously popular. Like, like holy shit. It is actually, shit. from what I heard, it, it was like one of the best selling mangas, maybe the best selling like, manga, at least at some point, maybe still, that, like in the US ever. Um, you can look that up, I guess. Uh, and the anime adaptation of it, I knew at the time, was somehow flawed or something. Now I have learned a little bit more information about it. And that is, yes, the Fruits Basket manga is still, you know, the, what it was. It right? was like a late 90s to early 2000s manga. Right. And the what exactly what people were mad about with the original anime. Which I that, never watched even one episode of. Me either. But I never I watched to, the anime, any art of the anime or read any of the manga. All I knew about the story was it involved some girl and some Zodiac stuff. And it was so popular. Oh, well, also, I knew that there's non-threatening boys who turn into animals if they get hugged. I didn't know that, I until, knew just, that. until just now. And I had to often <laughs> until use... When I, until just now when I watch it. I had to right know now. enough about it because running RIT anime, I had like... say like If the punchline to a joke was fruits basket something something, the anime club would lose their shit because it was so popular. Anyway, so what's wrong with the original anime from what I've heard from people is that it ended too soon... And did not cover the full, like it was faithful to the manga up to a point. Yep. And then I guess they got ahead of things or something, you know, and they had to end it too soon. Or, but be, not only did well, they end so, it. So, Scott, the a manga ran from 98 to 2006, and that anime ran from 2001 to 2001. Right. The not only anime end too soon and not cover everything, but also because the anime itself had to have an ending when they wrapped it up or whatever, they changed something in the story that was significant involving certain characters such that even if they did pick up with more seasons, it would have been literally impossible for them to continue with the manga's plot because they diverted. They basically took like a 90 degree turn at some point, mm. right? So that was that. That's something I didn't know because... That's what I have been told. So, Fruits Basket got a new anime. That this season, literally, just now, they made a new Fruits Basket anime, I assume for some anniversary of Fruits Basket. It is a remastering, re HD remake of the old anime, only Wait. it is supposedly going to stick to the manga and possibly go through the entire plot of the manga all the way to the end, maybe. Yep. Which... They could cancel at any time, right? But who knows? Yeah, but that's interesting because... Having not known about that swerve and having not realized how long Fruits Basket was, the the what I'd heard so far is that the new anime is just the old anime, like exactly. Well, because the old anime up to the point that we've seen, I've seen I think three or four episodes, uh, maybe four, because that was all that was on when I yep. watched. Uh, that was all that was out when I watched it. Um, is basically the we didn't hit the swerve point yet. Yep. So the new anime is the old anime because the old anime was the manga. The new anime is also the manga. And the old anime, we're not at the point where the old anime swerves. So at this only few episodes in, all of them are identical. The new one is just obviously 16 by 9 and better drawn. So and such what and such. I don't understand based on what I've watched so far, I mean, there's only what, like six why episodes? Why is so popular? Out. No. What I don't understand is, why is it called Fruits Basket? At what uh, point is there a fruit? <laughs> At what point is there a basket? I as the same thing, because I like fruits, and I'm okay with baskets, uh, especially if they're cornucopias. I love cornucopias, but yeah. I don't know if that counts as a basket, really. Is no, because it's on its side. It doesn't have a handle. Does it need a handle to be a basket? I don't, I don't, anyway, I love basket. fruit. Uh, yeah, there's no fruits or baskets whatsoever anywhere. Fruit, I don't even know if it's like an analogy or a metaphor for something. I don't think it is. I think it just gave it a fucking random name. Because I think it's it was just cool manga. sounding English name. That's fruits what I think basket. it is. What's yeah. it about? So it is about uh, a girl. And yeah. I th th so before I watched this, all I knew is it's about a girl who is homeless and going to school. I didn't know that till I watched it. Living in a tent. Accidentally meets a bunch of non-threatening boys who turn into Zodiac animals if she hugs them. If that anyone, the if any girl I hugs knew. them. That kind of is the plot. Yes, that literally is the plot. Yep. So this girl basically like 
family circumstances because her mom died and her dad right, she's died. living with grandpa and grandpa right? because basically her family died in some it was an accident car accident or something so dad died of like an illness and then mom raised her on her own get the impression mom meant well and was a good person but was not educated and might have been a delinquent Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, mom dies, has to live with grandpa. Grandpa. Right, at the funeral, they decide who's going to take her. Grandpa's which is pretty Also, absent. something that happens in Bunny Drop. Yeah. Where they decide who's going to take, which, you know, the family gets together and decides who's going to take the orphaned child. Yep. Grandpa, mm-hmm. like, has to leave his house because some renovations are going on. She made a vow to, like, take care of herself. Right, Doesn't so grandpa was, she can right, live with. Gr- grandpa's like, hey, I'm renovating the house we're living in. Uh, can you, like, go find a friend to live with? You know, I have to go live in a tiny place. I can't afford a big place, right? But I own the house, so once the renovations are done, we can move back. So she doesn't find a friend to go live with. She just lives in a tent in the woods. Yep. And, and somehow makes it work, kind of, Well, it, it, for a it's short clear term. She's only been living in the tent a little while, yes. and then a landslide immediately destroys the tent. Yep. Because she's just like, she doesn't know what she's doing. No. So she ends up accidentally moving she in with... She does pretty good considering before yeah. the landslide, but, I you mean, know. we got fancy tents. Like, I could live out of that tent for a month I don't know where she showers, to. though. At school, I assume. I guess. So uh, she accidentally moves in with all these boys and discovers... I do yeah, appreciate... Yeah, well, because unbeknownst to her, the land she put the tent on belongs to this family, and so she encounters them in the woods, and they're like, what is that person doing in our woods? She's and like, one oh, of them I, is like, uh, I live nearby. And one of them they're is, like, what? They're like, we own all these woods, and there's no houses in it, right? Yep, they're like, what? She's like, gotta and go. And one of them is a classmate and knows who she is. And he's the hot boy in school. Yeah, so... That sort of like, you know, that connection there. And they end up being nice and saying, we live in this giant old style Japanese house that has sliding doors like a samurai lives here because we're an ancient mystical family. Yep. <laughs> Why don't you come live with us? And then that's the setup. And then not too much happens after that in the episodes I've seen. Yep. So the one thing I will say, I'll, I'll say the things that I like about the show before we get into how I don't really think I need to watch any more of it is that one, the, tr- the secret... She figures it out instantly. That's good. It's a and, positive thing. And they're just like, oh, shit, I guess she knows we're all magical. Will you keep our secret? Cool. Like, all the magic stuff just starts happening immediately. Right. Well, there's this whole... St- there's, there's, it's a lot like Utena has the story of, like, you know, the prince and... Um, What's it called? Uh, what the duels? You know, Rose Prince, Princess Tutu. Oh has, yeah, Princess Tutu also has like a fantasy, uh, a fairy tale that sort of you know. But I like it when a show is right. like right away, like okay, everything's set up. Now well, the plot's gonna. Fruits go. Basket has the fairy tale story of why is the cat not a member of the Zodiac? No, oh, true. Yeah, that's the that's the long term mystery, right? And there's the one character who transforms into a cat, the really angry dude. Yep. Right. Uh, who's sort of like he's in the family, but he's not he's like you know he's like not part of the zodiac but he still transforms into a cat if he's hugged and it's the conflict between him and the, the ma- rest of the family well him and the rest of the family but mostly, mo- mostly the rat guy mostly the rat main guy right who is right and then the girl so you have this triangle situation going on right um because the girl I likes the main guy more, not the super annoying cat guy. Yeah, but she wants but, to be friends with the cat guy. Right, but fairy tale wise, she's all about the cat, right? And she yep. has some sort of connection to the cat in the terms of the fairy tale. But these two people who are somehow cursed, um, you know, it seems like the, they're backwards which animal is which. So I guess there's some tension of which one is she going to end up with, if any? Are they gay? Are they going to get with each other? Right? There's a, there's a lot to, to chew on for the fanfic writers. Yep. So, the other thing I appreciate is that once it, once you learn, the as the character knows, Many that ships will sail. If you hug one, if a, if a member of the, quote, opposite sex hugs any of these boys, they instantly turn into well, the also, animal. Well, also, there are girls in the family, and if they get hugged by a men, boy. by men, presumably, they would turn into the animal that they are from. Yep. And we've only, we're only a few episodes in, We've only met uh, a few characters, like the dog, the right. rat, the cat. Right. So we know there's a whole Zodiac, which has how many animals? Twelve? Twelve. Yeah, there's going to be way more characters in this family. Who's the a- dragon? To accommodate all the, you know. I think that the mysterious one, who is behind, you don't see them. Yeah. Who's like behind a sheet or something, behind a, uh, a door. They're like, oh, we have to go consult the person for fa- for rulings. 
right? And there's like a head member of the family. Yeah. And they talk to them like through a door. You hear the voice, but you don't see the character. Um, and then, you, you know, they're, they're like giving out the orders. I presume that that's the dragon head of family person and they can't disobey them. Yep. But what I appreciate is that once she learns she can do this, they get transformed constantly. Yeah. Like she, like she even does it on purpose to stop a fight. Like I like it when a current character discovers a magic thing and just uses it all the time whenever it's practical. Yeah, there's a little bit of the Superman thing going on because they're trying to hide it at school. And the, the, the boy got a bad reputation at school because girls asked him out and then he wouldn't let them hug him. He would like run away. And it's not because he is a jerk. It's just because he didn't, couldn't be hugged because they yep. find out they, they're trying to hide it. Right. Like Superman trying to hide with a yeah. secret identity. Uh, and sometimes, you know, there's that tension of is it going to get leaked? And there's a few times where they had to transform at school because they got hugged and by some luck, sometimes unbelievable luck, nobody saw or whatever, right? So, so here's the problems with the we'll show. We'll see if that gets that gets out. The problem with the show is that it is not the year 2001 and it is in fact the year 2019. Mm. Because if this was if Fruit Fantastic had never existed before and this anime just came out, what I would say about it is this is the most generic like basic ass trope shoujo with non-threatening boys the world has ever seen. <laughs> it is just take generic shoujo tropes like the mysterious like everything, stick them all together into a show and just follow the formula. So but, far at least. Yeah, so far at least. I heard from people that later in the show it gets dark. Yeah, it's That's hinted right. so, at, it's, it's definitely so, hinting at dark secrets yes, in the family. And because the show is not like it's not one of those cases where like it's bad. Wait till it's good, gets good. Yeah, it's sort of like it's aight, and it supposedly gets real good. It's like maybe if I, you know, it, like it's not off the queue. Right? No, I would watch more. I enjoy watching. I'm it. not gonna run out to watch it, but I'm also not gonna run away from it because I'm not as curious as I am about Fancy Lala's dinosaurs. Yeah, it's like right under that in terms of curiosity about what the darkness is. That's a good place to put it. Like I do want to know more about the deal, and I do like the characters, but it is just such the characters a are definitely more interesting than the characters in a lot of other anime where I don't care about them at all. Yep. And I imagine as I do care about like the drama of the the cat guy, yep. getting living and not being in the family. I, I think, al but I also I like the two delinquent girls she's friends with, and I also do uh, the oh, serial the, killer. Oh, those are the best characters. Yeah, in the they show. are right. Side characters are always the best. The like dark knife wielding one. Yes, and the big those delinquent. are. I like no them. question the best. Like I, you could watch the show just for them. She has two friends at school, uh, and we're like these super powered, awesome like outcast. I guess they would be, if it was an American show, they would be like two goth girls or something. Yeah. But they're in Japanese school, so they're all wearing uniforms. But yeah, they're they're like dark, serious, powerful. They get picked on, but then they get revenge and the mean popular girls run away. Yeah, the mean popular girls are literally just an Anami squad, like straight up. Yes, they are. Clearly, <laughs> you, you could just put Nanami right in there, Photoshop yep. her in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But yeah, like I would, I think I might watch some more episodes. Not kind of, I might just like watch it at some point. Like it's a good show. I might watch as a secondary show, like whenever I'm bored. Yeah, I, I think what I think what it watch. comes down to really is is how far is it going to go? If it's going to cover twenty three volumes of manga that ran from nineteen ninety eight to two thousand six, right? That makes me a more likely to watch because I know I'll get the whole deal. But and also, I know it ends. But also less likely to watch because there's so many episodes. It depends on how it fast it moves short, along. If it cuts short then I'm more likely to watch because less episodes, but less likely to watch because... So you got this sort of thing going on. I don't know. Yep. It's tricky there because I've generally been not watching things... Like, Game of Thrones, I probably won't even watch any more of until it's done done. I never watch any Game of Thrones and I probably never will. I really liked the first season. Like, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. And then the end of the first season killed the only one of the only characters I liked. And then season two was Which boring. one? It's boring. No. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of surprising who dies, actually. Okay. The main guy. Basically. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Imagine if Cowboy Bebop, episode four, Spike's dead, and then episode five is just yeah, the rest of the crew. Yeah, but there's just more characters, though. But then episode five is just like the That's rest actually of the crew. That's basically a really good way to run a TV show, because then yeah. you, you can just like... You know, get rid of actors, get new ones. You know, they're constantly going in and out. You don't have to give someone like a big long ass contract. Yeah. You get, like a soap opera situation, right? So, I mean, that's a great story for TV. 
But uh, season not two for a movie gonna... where you have to pay the fancy actor a zillion dollars and they're in the movie for ten minutes. Yep. But I like especially like I would not have even read the first book of the Wheel of Time if it hadn't been done uh, for a long time. That's true. So I wouldn't have picked it if it hadn't been done. Yeah. So the fact that the manga is done gives me hope that this might be a show I watch. It depends on how many episodes it will take to tell that story, and is that story thick and meaty enough to where. All those episodes will be worth watching. Yeah. It also depends. I'm going to try to find out how many episodes it takes to get to the dark stuff. If it's a long number of episodes, then I might not no. go. If it's five but or if six. But star- if it starts getting dark at like episode 15 or less, I might be like, ooh. Yep. But if it's going to be 20 more episodes of just the school drama and the house drama, no. Nah, Maybe there's a way to like summarize that and skip. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's a serviceable show, and now that we know the story of like why the old anime needed to be remade and they couldn't just like continue it, it does make sense that the show is being remade, and it is definitely like yeah. so a it, very mm. direct look at mm. late '90s, mm. early 2000s shoujo fandom. Yeah, if you are a Fruits Basket fan, you're probably going to say we're wrong about a bunch of stuff, but also yeah. you're probably excited about Fruits Basket, and I imagine you haven't read it or watched it in quite a while. Now you can go back into it good. This is great for you. Yeah. And if you're not a Fruits Basket fan, you never read it or watch it, it was a significant thing. This is your chance to see what the deal was. Uh, you can watch some number of episodes even if you don't watch all the episodes. Yep. This has been Geek Nights with Rim and Scott. Special thanks to DJ Pretzel for the opening music, Cat Lee for web design, and Brando K for the...